Hello guys and welcome to the channel, it's Erad, and so today we are going to talk about the aftermath of the announcement that Cloud Imperial Games will be wiping the database of Star Citizen after the release of Star Citizen of a 3.18.1 and Star Citizen of a 3.18.2. Now, I've read on Spectrum and via other media, media as well that some uh, people would like Cloud Imperial Games to compensate players in any form of cap or capacity for the time spent playing Star Citizen for pretty much nothing, so they say, and that's what I'm going to be addressing in this video. The answer, this is what I believe, of course, the answer that I don't think that we should be compensated for the time spent in the Persistent Universe, and the reason is because we should know that the Persistent Universe is still in Alpha Phase, and in Alpha Phase we are going to have database wipes. It is unavoidable, it is part of the alpha process, there's going to be plenty of iteration sometimes, we just have to start over and this is something that we have to remember. Now I know that sometimes Clinic Pier Games does sell their game as a uh, playable game, they do say on their commercials, you know, playable now, they don't really necessarily emphasize so much that it is still an alpha and that they are still implementing features, sometimes brand new technologies that may break the game. That's perhaps something that is on the Clan Imperial Games end here, maybe something that they need to fix. But at the same time, I also think that when you join a project like Star Citizen, you should be informed of what you are going to be stepping into. Now, that being said, that being said, let's talk about the PTU though, because I think that one of the reasons why we are in a situation that we are right now with 3.18 and the terrible launch that it had had is because perhaps there had not been enough people playing the PTU. And that's also a whole different matter here because I think that there should be some incentives indeed to entice players from playing in the PTU, the, the persistent test universe, because the PTU is there to precisely test what is eventually going to be released into the live servers and for those tests to be effective we need to have as many people as possible playing those tests and it seems like there was not enough people playing the PTU of Alpha 3.18 which resulted in the massive crashes, the massive failures that we've seen when 3.18 was released, because of course everybody wanted to try the new patch, everybody wanted to try the new persistence, and when it came out everybody wanted to start grinding their way into the PU at the same time when 3.18 came out. And this is something where Cloud Imperial Games could have learned, perhaps, uh, is that maybe they should have given some incentives to uh, entice players to play in the PU so that when in the PTU so that when they would join the PU they would finally maybe have some of the uh, fruits of the progressions or at least of the labor that they would have done in the PTU and that way for example let's say that players spend x amount of time in the PTU then they would be give, given maybe a little stipend you know they would start the PTU with X amount of Alpha UEC, say, for example, the CIG would give a defined amount of Alpha UEC per hour spent in the PTU, then it would definitely encourage players to play as much as possible in the PTU, and perhaps CIG would have had more data to help, not necessarily mitigate, I don't think that uh, the uh, problems that we saw with the release of Alpha 3.18 would have been avoided, I think that it was bound to happen simply because even if if you encourage people to play in the PTU, there will still be plenty of people who would not have played in the PTU and still would have joined uh, the game. There were plenty of people who would also have bought the game for the first time with the release of Alpha 3.18, but I still think that it would have made these effects less serious than they have been with uh, three point, the release of 3.18, and I also think that perhaps this could have given Cloud Imperial Games staff, at least maybe the people who work on the back and services more time to anticipate the release of 3.18 and the effects that that release would have had. And so that's also what I think sh they should be doing right now with 3.18.1 and 3.18.2 being in the PTU right now. They are testing, for example, dynamic events in 3.18.2. We're going to have apparently 
another event with uh, Gino Thread, jumped on 2.0. I haven't seen the Siege of Horizon, but maybe it's going to come eventually in the future, right? So these are also going to be events that will have a significant impact on persistence itself, but they need to have, in my opinion, more play players who might be encouraged. And I think that because we're going to have some wipes, there's, there are a lot of players, myself included, who are not that motivated to play anymore, and they're just waiting for 3.18.1 and then 3.18.2 especially to roll out so that finally they can jump back into the game and play it seriously, start progressing seriously again, because right now there's just no, if you're just interested in game progression right now, there's just no point in playing Star Citizen apart from you know, honing your skills and if you're really that passionate, uh, helping Clanipian Games to get extra data, but that's about it. And so these are the reasons why I think that we should have at least intensives for the PTU, uh, give us a little bit of money per hour spent, but I don't think that we should have anything for the PU itself because it's just part of the process of alphas. But what are your thoughts about Star Citizen 3.18 and all of these PTU processes? Uh, are you demotivated right now? Are you still playing? What would make you uh, play the PTU more? Well, let me know in the comment section down below. Don't hesitate to share your thoughts over there. Also, guys, let's talk about the giveaways. We've got some giveaways this month. Thanks to Toby. There's an Aquila with an eye tracker to win. You have the link in the description down below. Also, if you're a YouTube member or a Patreon member, I am giving away an RSI Scorpius and Taris. You can also win this one with our video sharing contest on Discord. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I've been Irad. I'll see you guys later. And a big shout out to Dr. Fobin, Wolf by Pug, Deployer Bonfidel, and Zero Crusher.